best friends. Uh, happy to have you in my kitchen this time. As I think many of you have wondered once you have your braces put on, what shall I eat? So uh, for me personally, the most impacted chapter of food was uh, the sweets because you are not allowed to eat things that are crunchy, things that are hard to, to chew. So you have a little bit more limited array of things you can eat to, to, get, uh, to get rid of your sweet tooth. Today what I want to show you is a really quick recipe of muffins. You can do that, them at home. Uh, you can do them with all kinds of flavors, so don't be just limited to what I show you here today. Uh, what I will do today are some muffins, two colors, uh, and I think I will put a bit of maybe almond or maybe vanilla essence in them. So uh, right now I will just want to, I just want to show you what we need and we can get started. We need a cup to measure what we put in. We need some yogurt or some milk, but if you use yogurt, your muffins will be more puffy. One egg, uh, some muffin forms. Mine are pretty used up, as you can see. I love to make muffins. <laughs> uh, some um, uh, paper for muffins. Uh, I have here some cocoa, some salt, uh, some... Um, uh, oil, it's uh, uh, flower seed oil. Uh, afterwards, we have here some sugar. I chose brown sugar, it's a little bit more healthy. Uh, flour and two kind of bowls. One is uh, a bigger one in which we can make all the mixture, and this one is the smaller one in which I will make only the cocoa uh, part, which is uh, a bit less. So, this is why I chose a smaller one. Uh, of course, you will need the kind of a tray where you should place all your forms, but we'll see that later on. So, let's get started! Good, so what I've done here, I've separated my dry ingredients from the wet ones <laughs> and I will try to start doing the thing. So, let's start with the dry ingredients. I have to put 400 grams I think, let's see, one cup and a half here. Uh, let me try to do it with a spoon. So I usually use only white flour. The other ones are not, uh, are not yeasting so much, so this is why I think this is a good one. Okay, a little bit more, that should be it. Uh, afterwards, I have to put one cup of uh, sugar, but this one cup should be uh, the white sugar. So that we're using brown, we have to put a little bit more. But let's see, my because this one is a bit moist. It has it has been uh, a bit put in in patches here. I have to break here some more. Okay. I'll put some salt. And I will mix this together. Afterwards, we will have to add the wet ingredient. Let's, let's have this mixed. Also, I forgot to tell you about the baking powder. So I'll put a pack of baking powder. It is for half a kilogram of um, flour. So we have put, I think, around 400 grams. So I think I'll put it all. I want them to be nice and puffy. Just be sure to mix it in all the dry ingredients so the, the growing will be uniform. 
Okay, I will just make a hole here in the middle. And I will break one egg. It should be a rather large one. Okay. Let me take this to have it here. I will put some uh, almond essence. slowly this way a bit to break the egg and afterwards we will put one cup of this it, it should be 250 milliliters no that's not it Now we should mix it all together. So I think now I will just fast forward to when it is all done. After you have mixed it, it should look this way, a little bit gooey. And you should mix it until you don't see the, the sugar crystals anymore. So this is how it should look like. And it looks this brown because of the brown sugar. Now we will add the oil. We should add three spoons of oil. What we should do now, and this is why I brought in this little fellow here, is to separate a bit of the composition into this thing, because here we will mix also with some cocoa. So I will take a clean spoon. And I will take, let's see, it's just, I don't know, I don't have a clear quantity of how much I take. And with this cocoa thing, we're just doing a pattern. We're just kind of decorating it. I mean, you will see when we will get there. Because I'm talking and doing at the same time, it takes a little bit more. But usually this thing, you can get this whole thing done. I think the preparation takes around, let's say, 15 minutes. And the baking, another... 15 to 20 minutes depending on your oven so yeah i think we're having enough here with the side this one was still a little bit more okay and in this small one we will put coke cannot how much however much you want so it's only up to your liking what's also optional what I will do and this um, mixture that I put cocoa in I will also add some rum essence because it gives a really really good taste And I will still put a bit of cocoa because I want to have a really nice contrast. Okay now, so we have the two mixtures here. What I will do now is take out the baking tray. Like this one. And I will put all the, the forms in the tray and also put the paper in each form. So, um, we'll be back over done. Okay, so what you want to do before starting putting the composition into these things, you want to start your oven and preheat it. I usually do it at uh, 200 degrees 
and I'll put it to preheat with the vent on. Okay, now we can start this thing. So, come closer. Uh, how I usually do it. I will take my bowl here close. You have to fill this in, I think, up to three quarters, something like this, because they will grow out either way. So they have to have some space to expand. As you can see, it can get quite messy, but don't worry about it. Okay, so what I will do now is I will take one spoon of this cocoa mixture, which is very tasty, by the way, <laughs> and I will put on top of each muffin. Uh, I, didn't, I don't know if I mentioned this, but this will last you for 12 muffins, so all the mixture is done for 12 muffins. If you want to do more, well, you will just have to uh, to put more of everything, so make, make proportions. Okay, so I was lucky, I found some toothpicks. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna begin to mix. And this will bring the color inside and out. It's like a marble effect, as you can see it. And you can do all sorts of patterns. You can plan them even ahead when you're putting the cocoa mixture in. As well, to decorate them even more, you can put on top, I don't know, some... Uh, something, I don't know, like walnut or something, but as you know, my basic friends, you are not allowed to use walnut or to eat walnut. So maybe something soft, maybe like a marshmallow would be really, really good, some kind of a topping or some kind of a coating. So this is kind of done. I will just take them and wipe the tray before, because as you can see, I have some spots here and this will burn in the oven. I don't like that burn smell. I guess we're done to put them in the oven, so let's take the tray. I will just put it in the middle. Here. I will take the ventilation off. I will put only up and down. And I will put the timer, let's say, for 15 minutes when we should check how they are. 15 and the temperature, let's say, 20 minutes have passed, so this is how they look like. Uh, I'm kind of very proud, so they should be a bit golden brown here up, and they should kind of grow, so they have outgrown a lot. Yep, pretty proud of them. my curious friends here you have them 12 muffins done in 30 minutes really really easy to done recipe and braces friendly so when your uh, sweet tooth comes up don't worry this is the solution so even if you were in braces or not here you have your very delicious and rapid way of having something sweet to eat and also healthy so until next time be safe and loved Bye.